Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to turn the drop down menu in a Squarespace website into a full width menu where the links will display from the left to the right of the screen. Now this will only happen on the desktop version of your website and I've added a few extra details to this code to give it a border, a background color, and a hover effect. So let's hop on into my demo site and I'll show you how this code works and what parts of it you're probably going to want to change. So here we are in my demo site, and I do want to mention this is specific for version 7.1, but if you're using an older version of Squarespace, you just need to update these selectors to match the version that you're using. If you need some help with that, let me know in the comments below. But here we are in 7.1, and we have a sample drop-down menu. These three pages are what we're going to change, so they'll display vertically across the entire page, okay? So scrolling down here, we've got a lot of code to work with, but everything in bold is the stuff that you're going to want to change. So let's check out how to make that magic happen. I'm going to copy this code. It is listed in the description below, and I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. Here, we're going to paste the code and check it out. When we hover over that option, we've got the menu going across the whole page and a hover effect for all three of those links. Pretty cool, right? So what are these customized options that I have in bold? The first one adds that background color. I've made it that light blue that I like so it stands out a bit more. Update this hex color code to whatever color you wanna see. I've also added a border to the top and the bottom so it really stands out against the page. Not necessary, change up those two lines if you want to or completely remove them. After that, this part right here needs to stay the same. This creates the actual look we're going for and centers those links. I would recommend leaving that part of the code alone. Underneath that, we have margin left and margin right for the actual links themselves. That created the space between them. I wanted to have a little bit of space between those links. If we remove those two lines of code, the text links will be right next to each other, and I don't like that look. So that's why I've added those margins to the left and the right, so it's easier to see the difference between the pages. And last but not least, I gave it the hover effect of turning bold on a hover. You can add any style that you want to change up how it looks on a hover, maybe give it a unique background color or change the font color, whatever you're comfortable with. I thought bold was a good place to start, but you can add any style code you want between those brackets there to create your own version of a hover effect. Whatever you decide to change, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And there you have it. Again, that code is listed in the description below, but definitely update the color, the border, and create a unique hover effect so it matches the style of your own Squarespace website. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to give me a like below. And if you're brand new to CSS for Squarespace, definitely check out my free training that's linked in the description below. I'd love to teach you the basics in a quick 15 minute video so you understand how to create create awesome codes just like this one for your own Squarespace website. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to check out the latest tutorial because I post a brand new one every single week. But most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.